Right then YouTube, welcome back. This is my Japanese Sega Saturn collection. I never owned a PAL console back in the day. After the 32X and the Mega CD, kind of lost a little bit of faith in Sega. I'm sure many of you out there also went through the same. And in this, instead, I went and bought a, a PlayStation, probably late 97, early 98. So the PAL Sega Saturn console kind of drifted by and that, that were it until I went to play in Manchester in 2014 and I sat down and I played this Dodon Pachi which was playing on a, a candy cab at the time and somebody told me that you could get this game on the Japanese Saturn so this is where the collection started uh, it's a great game really good probably the best game in my collection so I'll show a few more Next up is Sega Rally Championship 95. You've all played Sega Rally. Everyone's played Sega Rally. I've not played it with the steering wheel, although it does play really nice with the, the standard controller. Okay, next up is Sonic Jam. I bought this purely because you can get uh, the uh, spin dash in Sonic 1. Next up is Nights Into Dreams. I've got this version and the Christmas version. I don't think I've actually played the original version. I always play the, the, the Christmas version at Christmas, obviously. Um, I do like the game, although it does seem a little bit zoomed in. Do you know when you're playing it? It just seems a little bit zoomed in. But nonetheless, probably a groundbreaking game at the time. Um, I've got the 3D controller, although I just tend to play it with the standard controller. Okay, next up is Initial D, which is being covered by uh, the Spine card. Yeah, what can I say about this? Mm, not really my cup of tea. I bought it off the back of watching a YouTube video a couple of years ago. Got it really cheap, like five quid or whatever, but yeah, not really my cup of tea. Next up is Christmas Nights. Didn't know I had that, but in a box, but yeah, I've got that in a box. PAL version, I don't think it came in a box for some reason. Okay, another shooter here, Batsugun. Uh, very colorful, bullet hell shooter. Quite a pricey one, if I remember rightly. Another shooter, layer section, really nice, colorful, vibrant game. Um, cheap, fairly cheap, I think it cost me like 20, 25 pounds. Yeah, well recommended. This is Soyu Garante. Apologies for butchering the uh, the names, but um, yeah, another Japanese shooter. Can't remember how much this was, but yeah, really nice, uh, really nice, really nice game. I have done a few videos on these actually, showing a bit of gameplay. So I'll probably pop a link for the the playlist from the Japanese shooters below. Next up is Gunbird on the Sega Saturn. I did buy the PAL version on the PlayStation, and you can also get the, uh, no, tell a lie, the, the PAL version on the PlayStation is called Mobile Light Force, and it's got the, the Charlie's Angels cover on the front, and it goes for like a couple of quid at most. Um, but it's missing the Tarte mode. Now this version does have the Tarte mode, and to me, it, it plays, it does play better. It does play better, it's not squashed up, and. Uh, yeah, it's a great game, and it's really cheap. I think this for about £20. Okay, next up is Don Pache. Uh, Do Don Pache is a sequel, and it is a little bit better, for me anyway, than this. But this is uh, it's still a great game nonetheless. Bullet Hill Shooter. Next up is Sonic Wings Special. Really good game. And this is on the, the Neo Geo, but I thought I'd pick it up for the... Um, the Japanese Saturn as well. Really nice, uh, really nice shooter. Okay, then last up is Shin Ryu. Shin Ryu, I can never pronounce it. A really colourful shooter. It's got some great backgrounds. Um, very um, anime inspired, I would say. Uh, great game. So that is my Japanese. I'm just looking around to see if I've got any more. Jap I thought I had some more actually, but no, I've not. Uh, yeah, that is my Sega Saturn. Mostly Japanese, well, all of it Japanese, uh, collection. So until next time, guys, I'll see you on Cockers.